So, so I think that there are, and, and when um, I was talking to the, the group who's the data ambassadors to Huron River Watershed, we were looking, they have a relational database, and we'll look at sort of the structure that they have. And we were talking about sort of some of the things that work about relational databases, and then the things that can get broken about relational databases. And this was, these were sort of the things that came out of that discussion as the major advantages to relational databases and why they're used by so many organizations for managing data. The first is that relational databases are flat. So instead, information isn't stacked. We don't have things stacked in cells. We don't have things stacked horizontally. We sort of have them stacked vertically, but in separate tables that makes joining them together very easy. So this makes processing and analyzing data significantly easier because it's much easier to sort of do computations on any of the cells because you have this sort of unique identifier. You don't have things that can get broken because it's only linked by this ID. Um, and even if you're not using a relational database, it's good to sort of try to flatten out your data. People always really want to put like two things in a, in a cell. As soon as you know, there are now like two people who have gotten married, instead of having them separate and then having some you know, identifier to show that they're married to each other, people always want to say Bob, comma, Alice, which, which can work in certain situations, but it does make computation significantly more than makes it harder to clean up a database. Um, if you don't have a good way to sort of separate things out, sometimes I think stacking vertically, if you can, like we were seeing in, in this one here, can sometimes be the best way to sort of approximate flatness. So especially if you put an ID here, then you can use pivot tables, you can do all sorts of analyses, either on people or on the pets. And that's the nice thing, is you can go back and forth between, between these sort of two ways of categorizing. So if you, if you do find yourself in a situation where you have to stack information in a cell um, because of the way that, that data, that they've already designed something or because of, of some other reason, I think one of the, the best things you can do is to try to separate your, your data that's stacked by as unlikely of a character as possible. Because inevitably, you'll see when people try to do this, there'll be like a named cell, and they'll separate it by commas or by periods. But then you'll get somebody who's, someone puts in the name, like last name, comma, first name. And then all of a sudden, if you're trying to run a Perl script on it, trying to do something to disaggregate this information, you're now taking one person and splitting them into two because you were using commas to separate. So um, one thing that works really well is the pipe key which you may never have used on your computer. On mine, it's right below the delete key. Um, but that's what makes it so good for this, is because um, I've, I've never seen someone with a pipe in their name or in an address. Um, so it, it can be very good for sort of separating out um, data and making it processable. 